Kia is following in the footsteps of many other automakers by offering a vehicle that's been designed from the ground up to support the American market. This is the Kia Telluride, and it's boxy, spacious, high-tech, and actually kind of luxurious. Let's start with the design of this new three-row crossover. Frankly speaking, it's quite polarizing. I think it's a bit too boxy, but a few of my colleagues have been complimentary of it. The Telluride was designed in California and assembled in Georgia, and is the biggest Kia ever made. Peer through the window or open the door and you'll find a pretty premium cabin with double-stitched Napa leather, simulated brushed metal, and matte finished wood accents. There are also handy hooks to hang bags off of them to keep them off the ground. The car is also generously outfitted, available with vented and heated second row seats, and even a rear seat reminder system that uses ultrasonic sensors to detect a child or pet movement in the third or second row after the car's doors have been locked, and then can issue an audible alert to the driver. It's also packed with all kinds of semi-autonomous driving technology, and not just the usual stuff like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping, but there's a highway assist system that uses radar systems, including LiDAR, to interpret lane markings so that the vehicle can control steering, acceleration, and braking to automatically adjust the distance from the vehicle ahead. There's also a blind spot collision prevention system and other safety features that will ensure that the car and its occupants are safe. Under the hood is a 3.8 liter V6 engine that makes 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. That's paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. There's also an available all-wheel drive system that can vary its torque split between the front and rear axles depending on the drive mode. The Telluride is also capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds. Size-wise, expect the Telluride to be bigger than the Sorento, comparing more to the likes of the Subaru Ascent, VW Atlas, and the Honda Pilot. The Telluride competes in a pretty crowded market segment, and I have no idea how much it'll cost. More details just like that will come out later this year when the car finally arrives in Kia dealerships.